What's up, everyone? This is all Destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we did uh, some extra side activities around the Hateno province of Hyrule. We managed to upgrade a number of our runes, did a little bit of home remodeling, and explored a little bit in order to get to another shrine. In this episode, we are going to be off to our next destination. So where that would take us would be back on over to the main quest. So free the divine beasts. Uh, before we really get going, though, I'm taking a bit of a pit stop here in the Korok Forest. Since, well, we were a little bit injured. So we'll sleep until morning. once again. Please be careful. So apparently being in shrines changes when the blood moon comes until the following day. Okay. Well, well while we're here, since we do have a pot right here, we can go and get a little bit of cooking done. Uh, since I really don't have all that much. And especially when it comes to a number of variety. Uh, so I'm gonna hold an apple. Uh, we'll get a couple of truffles. An herb and... Uh, you know, let's just stick with the apple. Okay, so two Okay, so two bonus mushroom or mushrooms two bonus hearts plus full HP recovery uh, Let's see fleet lotus seeds uh, Let's try to increase movement speed movement speed with rush room and then we will add in an herb. Okay, so that gives us quite a bit. High level movement speed for four and a half minutes. Nice, okay. Um, let's see, what else do I want to use? Uh, acorns, let's put in some meat, um, stamina recovery? Okay, put a, put that away. Let's go for stamina recovery. Uh, so, two stamella shrooms. Uh, we'll go with coarser baby honey, some meat to throw in there, and some fish. <laughs> Energizing glazed meat. Wow. 11 hearts and a full stamina meal. Wheel. Uh, okay. Let's maybe get some more modest stamina recovery. Okay, that's something a bit more reasonable and something I would more likely use. Get another one of that. Okay, and then let's maybe go for one more. Uh, we'll go for defensive. So, some armored carp. Let's go with... Let's see, that's stealth, heat resistance... Uh, armor ants would probably be good. Um, Silent Princess and another apple because we got a crap ton of them. <laughs> oh. 
Really? Ugh. Probably shouldn't have gone with the apple then. Well, in which case... Three iron shrooms. <laughs> That'll work. Okay, so with that, let's go ahead and leave here and head on over to the Woodland Tower. In my haste, I completely forgot that I have four spirit orbs to turn in. So, before we actually do that, let's go ahead and head on over to the goddess statue that is here. And I ran a little bit too long. Well, great. Okay. So, the goddess statue is conveniently right where we cooked. So, let's go ahead and get ourselves another heart container. Bringing our total up to 10. I probably could have just gone there in order to recover my health, but whatever. Blood Moon came anyway. So now, let's go ahead and head on over to the tower. Okay. So again, our main destination is on over to the west. So it is quite a distance. I see a tower way out over there, which actually wouldn't be a bad place to go to first. Okay, so let's go ahead and head on out over that way. Oh wow, I can actually see the shrine that was activated from the Korok Trials. <laughs> yeah. Well, at any rate, we have quite a bit of a travel ahead of us. Even another tower over there. But... Is a... Is a trek worth doing? Uh, another wolf over there. Is it going to chase after me? Eh, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. Um. Hmm. Oh, nope. That one is pretty much ready to break. So instead of using it for shield surfing, I think I may just be better off at just traversing the general area. Which... You know, aside from the completely ominous Hyrule Castle in the background, it's actually kind of peaceful. Uh, you know, while I'm traversing, doesn't hurt to try to find some more Koroks. Or some more ingredients. Okay. Yeah, in order to get on over to the Lost Woods, it's quite a climb of the cliff edge, and I'm not entirely sure you can even really effectively do that. It's kind of one entrance to the Korok Forest, and that's through the Lost Woods in its proper entrance. Damn it, my zoom wasn't there. Oh. Darn it, I hate when things freaking... Ugh. They appear, and then they're gone. It's like, really? Well, whatever. Weirdly enough, even though we're really close to Hyrule Castle, there doesn't appear to be any monsters in the nearby vicinity. So, that's helpful. What isn't helpful is rain. Well, I will admit, we are off the beaten trail. So... Not really sure how a whole lot of things would be around here. But still... Just kind of keeping an eye out for 
any particular shrines that might be out and about. Uh, looks like a boar. Yeah, it's a boar. Okay. Don't need to worry about him. Instead, just focus on reaching the tower. And getting more mushrooms. Pretty sure I already have that one. Whoa, what the? You didn't even fade away. You just disappeared. Egg. Anyway. I suppose it is a good thing that I'm doing this in the morning and not in the evening. That way I don't... Because I probably would be encountering a lot of stall monsters here. Oh, well, whatever. Just grab myself a truffle and keep on going. As long as I can keep on getting more ingredients. Big hearty truffle. Ooh. Oh. There's a Korok nearby. There's also an Octorok nearby. Oh, hello. Um. Do I have... No, I just have three Knight's Broadswords. And then... Oh, wow. It's now on fire. It is now on fire. Okay. Well, that kind of made... Just getting one of those just made that explode. Nope. Grab the Oct- Well, more, not really so much grab the Octorok so much as kill the Octorok. Ooh, a Stelfin Trout. Okay. Well, since that was obviously new. I'm gonna go ahead and hold it. Drop it. And then take a picture of it. In its natural habitat. <laughs> Yeah. All right, let's actually head on over to where this is. Um. Oh. Guess I gotta hit all these balloons. Damn it. Do not have that many arrows. Where else is there one? Right here. Damn it! There we go. Wasted a number of arrows, but hey. At the very least, I got myself another Korok. And if I'm lucky, I might be able to find one of the arrows that I launched off. Uh, possibly. No, those are razor shrooms. Those are wolves. Yeah, I'm gonna stop you right there. Oh, they still want a piece of me? Guess not. That's a good thing with wolves. They will very easily back down if one of their own is killed. So at least you don't have to bother fighting all of them. Okay. We'll get through all that and it seems like we're in a pretty good area right now. Rolling Plains. Actually wouldn't be a bad place for Pona to just kind of wander through. There's an arrow right there. Not entirely sure what significance that was, but okay. So, we are getting pretty close to... Oh, jeez. More chews. Um... I don't really have anything else other than fire. Although, if I can get just a ton of chew jellies just from one giant chew... Well, that helps out quite a bit. Also, there's another Korok over here. 
Uh, I'm gonna check out the ruin first. Oh, another arrow. Weird, what's with these just random arrows sticking out? Okay, so I get up here. Oh, jeez. Oh, really? I got one. Damn it. Okay, we'll go with the spiked one. It's the second one. Third. Fourth. Missed. Come on. Oh, it'll disappear again. Yep. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to really get it at the center spot. Damn it. Oh, yeah. Now it would be at the center spot. Come on. I was able to get the rest of these super well. Really? Right where I would have spawned? Attacked it? Okay, what about here? There we go! Ah, these corals are making me use all my arrows! Oh, okay, well, I see a worn darner down there. I'm not sure if I've actually taken a picture of it. Yeah, again, just trying to get it centered like that. Insects are hard. And I honestly don't remember what I have and haven't taken a picture of. Okay. Unfortunately, I do not see where my arrows may have... Oh. A butterfly. Damn it. Oh. Thunderwing butterfly? Yeah. Sneak up on it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah! Thunderwing Butterfly only shows itself when it rains. And it gives electrical resistance. No, come back! Come on. Come on. Land. Land. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm content with getting two of those. Okay, cool. I like getting the pictures of the insects just because it's really hard to get them otherwise. Okay. Oh, hello, Bokoblins. Fancy meeting you here. Yeah, unfortunately, we've been kind of being way off to the side, and I haven't actually seen any. Oh, jeez, they see me. Well. <laughs> Oh, jeez, these are... Oh, crap, these are Black Bokoblins! Oh, boy. Okay. I thought they were normal Bokoblins. No, I was wrong. I was very wrong. I don't see any arrows that they left behind. Cool. Now I'm out in the wilderness, almost dead. But at least there's a Korok nearby. Oh, wait, I saw it right there. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Yeah, I do like this mask. Because at the very least with the mask... Uh, makes actually finding Koroks a lot easier and less, you know, mind-numbing. Grab these Endura Shrooms. And I've still got quite a ways to go. And I still haven't even encountered any shrines. But there's a stable over there! Wait, is that... No, that's a different stable! Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Um, I don't really have that much money. 
but a stable would at the very least mean a shrine. So I can just go there. Oh, another Korok nearby. Um, where? Uh, I'm not entirely sure where this Korok is. Oh, wow! Um, well, that's definitely not the shrine that I was expecting to find. There's a shrine I will more than happily go to. <laughs> Yeah, because that's still way far away from that. But you know, I'll take it. Let's head on over to the shrine. And see where we go from here. Okay, so hopefully this one won't end up killing me. Okay, what is this shrine? Drawing par parabolas? Okay. So what is my ultimate goal here? So my ultimate goal is to launch... I feel like it's to launch this ball into that area. Okay, so I put that down, and that launches that. Then it goes over there. Oh! Well, that was dumb. And apparently, Mipha's grace doesn't activate while I'm in a shrine. That's weird. Why Why does Mipha's grace not activate while I'm in a shrine? Okay. So we'll get down here. Okay. Well, at least got that taken care of. Uh, actually... Um, go ahead and equip the Korok Leaf. Oh god! That was not what I expected to have happen right there. Um, well, in that case, since I fell... Get over here. Okay. Swing this over again. Okay, and then that will allow me to get the chest. So we'll go and do that. Okay, and that gets us the chest. Chest has a thunder blade. Ooh, just like our flame ba blade, but with electricity. And unfortunately, we can't hold any more weapons. Uh, well, I've got plenty of broadswords that I don't need. Nice. Okay, and then. Do that, and that puts it in an area that I can very easily reach. Uh, before I do anything, drop the Thunder Blade, take a picture of said Thunder Blade. Has a cool burst of electricity. Grab it, grab the ball, and let's do this right. You know, without using any more fairies. God, that is a really dumb way to use up a fairy. That's also really dumb. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna hold on to the ball. 
Doesn't work like that. Cool. That's amazing. Okay. Well, that at least worked out in the end. So yeah, kind of dumb that I wasted a fairy. But whatever, we at least made it. And hey, that's another spirit orb added to our collection. Okay, so at the very least, if I encounter another giant chew jelly, then, you know, I can get some electric or lightning chew jelly. Well, anyway. I actually wonder if maybe that is the shrine for this area. It's at least close enough, I guess. Some more armoranth. And made it to a new stable. And that's another just Hylian Retriever. I like how I just come in and just steal all of those. Oh, it's another one. Add some flint, and it looks like there's a few people over there. Um, but at the very least, we've made it to a brand new sh or stable. Don't know why I was about to say shrine. There's a sledgehammer right there if we need it. Um, some spicy peppers. Okay. Oh wow, they there are a number of different quests here. But we do have our usual suspects, Pigongo and Beetle. Wow. wow! Never thought I'd see you here. You must really enjoy my company. What are you looking for? Or are you selling? Well, I don't really have enough to buy anything. But we've got arrows, warm darners, sunset fireflies, and tireless frogs. Okay, nothing too extraordinary. Oh. Uh, do we have... Anything really worth sell- Oh, I guess- Well, silent streams don't really sell for a whole lot. That's the thing. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure there's really a whole lot aside from maybe some extra monster parts. Um... Yeah, any different chew jelly just automatically doubles the price. Um... Maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to do that to Key since that triples their price. Uh, but there's not really a whole lot for me that I really want to or need to sell. Uh, I'll sell another, some Bokoblin Fangs just so I have some money on hand. And that'll be it. And we have our good friend here, Pigongo. Wake him up and talk to him. Oh hey, we meet again. Are you out traveling as well? I've traveled all over the world, so I'm happy to tell you about new places if you want. Have a picture show me, let's see it already. Alright, so what is it this time? Ah, here we can see Hyrule Castle in the distance, so this must be north of the castle. The south side of the castle is where Castle Town used to be, but I don't see any buildings here, which means... Yes, indeed. I'd say this is likely on the north side, across the castle moat. It should be southeast of the stable. Uh, oh, the area around the castle is extremely dangerous. If you find yourself in trouble, promise me to run fast. Okay, southeast from here. Okay, so that actually wouldn't be too far away from the shrine here. Okay, well, that's interesting to know. Well, we also have ourselves a number of different quests here. My theory is that the Leviathans of ancient times went extinct due to an extended ice age. My theory is that the Leviathans of ancient times went extinct due to a vo violent volcanic eruption. 
My theory is that the Leviathans of ancient times went extinct due to a sudden cataclysmic drought long ago. Hmm? Oh? Pardon me, I've gotten ahead of myself. <clears throat> Why did the Leviathans go extinct? That is the answer we scientists are trying to answer. Mm. However, we haven't yet located any Leviathan remains, so we're stuck with theories for the time being. But we do have a general idea of where such remains might be found. The Elden Mountains to the northeast, the Heber region to the northwest, and the Gerudo region to the southwest. The climates of these regions are rather extreme. You've got the look of someone who's done a fair bit of adventuring. Mm. Would you be willing to find these Leviathan bones and draw a picture of them? What I especially want to see is the head of the animal. If you can get just a bit of it in the picture, that'd be adequate. Do this for me and I'll give you 300 rupees as a reward. Sure, leave it to me. Aww. Excellent! You're a lifesaver in the most literal sense. I'll be waiting here for your 300 rupees. Okay, so they all just rush in because now it's raining. Okay. Oh. So, I don't have anything like that. However, each of them will basically give us a reward for going to a specific region. So, looking at the quest log... The record need not have the whole skeleton so long as the skull is visible. And we have those three areas that we can go to. So, the quest log will indicate whether... Well, actually... If we are near one of those, then the picture should tell us that we are nearby one. Okay. So, I think for the last thing that we're going to do for the episode, we're going to head on over to the shrine here. And once again, try to find our way to a memory. Oh, hey, some luminous stone right there. Hopefully it won't take too long to get to it. Uh, however, since it's raining, that might complicate some things. Okay, so the picture that we are looking for is this right here. So this is north of Hyrule Castle, close to a lone tree. So Hyrule Castle is at least over there. But I need to find the right tree. They also said it was southeast. Ah, oh, damn it. So southeast of the stable. So it should be kind of in this general area. <laughs> I didn't realize that could work. Wow. Wow, that was... Bizarre. I was not expecting that to actually work. But we got a new bow. A dragon bone boko bow. Oh, hey, cool. And it stopped raining. And, oh boy. A swarm of keys. That's gonna make things complicated. Um... Welp! If you want to get some key swings, that's one way to do it. Definitely scared him off, too. Okay, so again. Place I'm looking for... Kind of near here. Ah, there's the tree! Okay, perfect. So we are kind of close by to it. And it's starting to rain again. Well, as long as there aren't any guardians or anything like that roaming about. I think we should be fine. Looks like there's an old abandoned cart over there. Don't think you're getting away from me. Okay, but there's the tree that we're looking for. Oh. Uh, nope. Uh, what I wanted... 
I'm also close to a Korok, it seems. Ow, whoops. Okay, another... Huh. Another Dragon Bone Boko Bow. Um... I guess I don't need the spiked one if I've got this. Is there a Korok in the tree? Well, this complicates things a little bit. Yep. Well, the rain should subside soon. Gonna try climbing it anyway. There we go. Korok in a tree! Okay, and the memory is right here. Now, before we do this, I'm going to change up Link's face so he doesn't look completely stupid while looking at this. Well, let's recall another memory. one. Oh, and another. The flowers we have in Hyrule aren't just beautiful. They're also quite useful as ingredients for a variety of things. <gasps> this one here is called the Silent Princess. It's a rare, endangered species. Despite our efforts, we can't get them to grow domestically yet. The princess can only thrive out here. In the wild. All that we can hope is that the species will be strong enough to prosper on its own. <gasps> is that what I think it is? Look at this. I don't believe it, but I actually caught one. This delicacy is known to have very, very potent effects under the proper circumstances. Ta-da! <laughs> Research from the castle shows ingesting one of these can actually augment certain abilities. We wouldn't be in a controlled environment out here, but with your level of physical fitness, you'd be a perfect candidate for the study. Go on. <laughs> Taste it. I mentioned that I really love the fact that Zelda is just one giant nerd in this game. <laughs> oh god! Uh. Freaking keys! Get back here! I got some of them. <sighs> At least it was enough to scare them away. Well, at the very le Oh! Hey! Look who it is! Maybe I should not have my torch out for this. In fact, I'm gonna get this. That way I can weaken them just enough without wasting something a bit more valuable. And then... Grab the jellies before it extends them, or like triggers one of them, and then I end up losing one because it's being stupid. Anyway, now that we're done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and put my Korok mask back on. I think we are probably good to call it a day here. Doesn't seem like there's anything in this abandoned cart. I don't... Doesn't appear to be any Koroks nearby. So, I think we're probably good to call it a day here. So, next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath 
of the wild. We are getting pretty close to at least kind of where we need to be. There's a tower right over here. So we can go and climb that tower to unlock this region over here. It's actually a pretty substantial region if it kind of overarches this entire area. I uh, did not get to anywhere near as many shrines as I would have liked to have gotten. After all, there was only one shrine that we got to, which was by the stable. So, eh, bit of a shame, but whatever. At the very least, did not mean to kill the fox. At the very least, we are making headway to our ultimate destination. So, progress is still being made. But we'll continue to make that progress next time. So until then, everyone, take care.